Namo Adita Fa. Good morning. Thank you for joining me for today's daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. The first mindfulness training. Aware of the suffering caused by the destruction of life, I vow to cultivate compassion and learn ways to protect the lives of people, animals, plants, and minerals. I am determined not to kill, not to let others kill, and not to condone any act of killing in the world, in my thinking, or in my way of life. We're continuing to read Ajahn Tanisaro's book, The Karma of Questions. Some people have argued that because the Buddha recognized the principle of conditionality, he would have no problem with the idea that our virtues should depend on conditions as well. This is a misunderstanding of the principle. To begin with, conditionality doesn't simply mean that everything is changeable and contingent. It's like the theory of relativity. Relativity doesn't mean that all things are relative, it simply replaces mass and time, which long were considered constants, with another unexpected constant, the speed of light. Mass and time may be relative to a particular inertial frame, as a frame relates to the speed of light, but the laws of physics are constant for all inertial frames, regardless of speed. The speed of light is always the same. In the same way, conditionality means that there are certain unchanging patterns to contingency and change. One of those patterns being that unskillful intentions based on craving and delusion invariably lead to unpleasant results. If we learn to accept this pattern rather than our feelings and opinions as absolute, it requires us to become more ingenious in dealing with danger. Instead of following our unskillful knee-jerk reactions, we learn to think outside the box to find responses that best prevent harm of any kind. This gives our actions added precision and grace. At the same time, we have to note that the Buddha didn't teach conditionality simply to encourage acceptance for the inevitability of change. He taught it to show how the patterns underlying change can be mastered to create an opening that leads beyond conditionality and change. If we want to reach the unconditioned, the truest security, our integrity has to be unconditional, a gift of temporal security, not only to those who treat us well, but to everyone, without exception. <clears throat> As the text says, when you abstain absolutely from doing harm, you give a great gift, freedom from danger to limitless beings, and you yourself find a share in that limitless freedom as well. Conviction and integrity of this sort make great demands on us. Until we gain our first taste of the unconditioned, they can easily be shaken. This is why they have to be augmented with other mental strengths. The three middle strengths, persistence, mindfulness, and concentration, act in concert. Persistence, in the form of right effort, counteracts the delusion that we're no match for our fears, that once they arise we have to give in to them. Right effort gives us practice in eliminating milder, unskillful qualities and developing skillful ones in their place, so that when stronger, unskillful qualities arise, we can use our skillful qualities as allies in fending them off. The strength of mindfulness assists this process in two ways. One, it reminds us of the danger of giving in to fear. Two, it teaches us to focus our attention not on the object of our fear, but on the fear in and of itself as a mental event, something we can watch from the outside 
rather than jumping in and going along for a ride. The strength of concentration and providing the mind with a still center of well-being puts us in a solid position where we don't feel compelled to identify with fears as they come and where the comings and goings of internal and external dangers are less and less threatening to the mind. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. May all beings be peaceful. Sadhu. 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 Thank you for joining me this morning.